I just went live with my River Beach video. It's doing great. Comments great. And I've been in the comments. I posted on Instagram. Hey, I'm going to be in the comments over there for a little bit. So I've been just talking to people. It's awesome. You guys are great. Thanks for the support. Everybody's really excited about me playing in the river and moving dirt around, which is fun for me. I love doing that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, videos live. Um, when you see this video go live, go see if I'm in the comments. I'm going to try to hang out in the comments for a little while when I go live with all the videos. Okay, uh, actually I actually have to go though. Let's go! Whoa. We're going to have to build a lot of stuff in a little bit, but we don't have time for that right now. Check it out. I'm pulling a trailer. And so like when you're backing up and you have a reverse camera, you can't see anything when you have a trailer. But I put this cool camera on the back of the trailer, so that's the view from behind the trailer, so I can back up, know exactly where, anyway, I was just, technology's neat. That's all. If you did not watch yesterday's video, in this trailer is a 1964 Chevrolet Impala with hydraulics, but soon, We'll have much better hydraulics. I'm actually heading to the lowrider shop right now to drop this baby off, and she is going to get a major, major upgrade. A lot of work getting done on this old girl. She's in there. Dang, look at this thing. Just dropped it off at USA Motorsports here in San Antonio. A bunch of cool dudes here. They've actually had some uh, some popular cars that I didn't know about. I didn't know it was them. Uh, it was one I saw back when I was in college. It was called Donkey Kong, and it was this, I don't remember what it was. It was like a Regal or a Caprice or something, like one of those real square body cars. And it was on just the most enormous wheels you've ever seen. Just so crazy. And like it went all viral and all over the internet and everything like 15 years ago. They were like, yeah, we built that car. Like that was, that was, I, th I think actually they own that car. Anyway, bunch of cool guys. They are going to frame swap with a super beefier frame on my Impala. And then they're going to upgrade all the hydraulics so that we can get that thing up in the air where it belongs. Also, there was a donk in there makes me want a donk also. For those who don't know what a donk is, go Google it and get ready to spend like an hour just going down the rabbit hole looking at freaking car donk videos. They're so cool. Actually right now we are heading to the hospital. One of my beloved family members is injured. Um, so we're gonna go check up on him. Doc, shoot me straight. How bad is it? Not as bad as we thought. Yeah. Honestly, that's, that's not, good. Yeah, um, but still bad enough that we have to replace. We got to replace the motor. <laughs> so, that's I mean, pretty I, bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> really, only one piston really got its butt kicked, and uh, second one back here, and it drug up this side, and it drug up this side. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to get it to where you guys can see it. It's just that that little scratch on the left side of that cylinder wall there, and there's another one on the other side. That's. Much less than what I thought we were going to find in there. Yeah, and it kind of, I mean, it shows how how fragile the, you know, really important parts of a motor also are. Like, because the only thing that's really keeping this from keeping keeping on is the cylinder, the ring not seating completely. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, there's really no way to even, like, hone that. We, or we, we patch thought, it. Or yeah, you, you can't really, because it, once that starts, it just gets out of hand really, really fast. So... Especially when you're romping on it. Yeah, and this thing was probably a couple thousand degrees. I, like we're thinking probably 1,800, 2,000 degrees. <laughs> on the EGTs? Um, yes. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty, 250 on the pretty nasty. Jump. Yeah, we've got two melted pistons. They didn't melt as bad as we've seen them before, but like the bowl of this one melted on the edge. Yeah. And then this one's got quite a few cracks, like seven or eight. So say no to crack, crack kills. So getting a new block, sending this block in as a core. Yep. And same heads. Same heads, Warren, Warren Diesel's going to basically stock crank, stock rod, stock pistons, but 
the pistons are de-lipped and coated. So basically they machine part of this lip back all the way around and it's coated so it helps with heat. And we're trying to make more power and make the engine live this time. And Jai has a really legit high pressure water injection system and it's literally water sprayed at high pressure uh, into the engine and it 600 works. 600 PSI is what it's at. Yeah, so pretty pretty gnarly atomization and it helps to, like you would think, you know, take a garden hose or something and spray a mist in the air the same way that it would cool you down, the same thing happened inside the engine. So our plan is mostly still stock engine except for now new camshaft, right? Yep, stage cam. two cam. And a big turbo. Turbo yep. and injectors. Oh yeah, and, and injectors, that's right. So and then stock, tuned. Stock high pressure oil pump. Um, stock oil cooler and stuff like that because we're making short runs with this thing. Yeah. You know? I think this next setup is going to perform extremely well and oh yeah, and hopefully last several burnout competitions. Without, That'd be sweet. Without issue. Well, how are we doing on time? Y'all have less than a month. So and y'all yeah. might might be moving shops pretty soon. Yeah, we got a couple <laughs> weeks to move all this stuff. I'm and hoping this runs before the shop moves. Sweet. And diesel can get us a motor pretty quick. And we're heading back to Bristol and we're keeping that belt. Oh that's yeah. Right. That's right. That's ranch right. Ranch Tang is the reigning champ and we plan to make sure it stays the reigning champ. Yes. All right. Good luck to you guys. Right, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate y'all. Okay, here's the situation. Um, this is my office. This is what I've been operating out of for the last, um, I don't know, six months-ish. Uh, I, I do my editing on a folding table. I've got a couple other folding tables over there. I've got, these are my two office chairs because we ordered furniture a few month, months and months ago and it just came in. I haven't even unpacked boxes yet because I was like, what's the point? Like, it's just gonna be all a mess. I don't have shelves, I don't have drawers, so I'll just wait. And so like, we've been very temporarily operating until today. I gotta get this room cleaned up now and then I'm gonna bring in furniture and start building it in here and finally have an office that I can be proud of. Okay, the room is clean now, so that's good. Here's the problem. This is all of my furniture and I actually have no idea what it is. Meredith uh, picked it all out and ordered it six months ago. And she showed it to me, but I don't remember what it looked like. And so I'm just gonna have to start opening boxes and trying to figure out what goes with what. And there's no instructions. Cool, 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 cool. And Meredith's also not here. Mm -hmm. She went shopping with some friends today. Just me and the kids. Oh, we got this.
just done. So I'll keep my things in here and my stuff in here and my junk in here. And what else should I keep in here? Guns. Oh, um, no. Annie, we did it! Mm -hmm. Isn't this amazing? Mm -hmm. All right, so the office just looks so much better now. It's just so clean and tidy. <laughs> All right, I, this one is gonna go against that wall. Oh shoot, I, I think it'll fit with those plugs. We measured everything before. I have to move the simply safe. But this will go against that wall. This one will actually be flipped around and will be kind of in the middle, so I'll be able to have a chair in the middle and go between this desk and this desk. This is a longer, more shallow one, and this is a shorter, deeper one. Uh, should be great, so I gotta figure out, like I'm gonna have my laptop, because I use this big computer for like editing and gaming and stuff, but I also use my laptop for a ton of stuff, and so I think I'll have, I don't actually know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, this kit out of the way, and then I'm gonna get all that stuff out of the way, and then figure out what's gonna go where. Are you gonna put your PC? I think, I think it has to go on this one now, actually. I don't know, we'll see. Here's what we came up with. Bam, look at this beautiful office. I got diamond play button up here. My Cleese and Cars belt from first place at the last Cleese and Cars up there. And I gotta figure out what else I'm gonna put on the other shelves. It's gonna be great. Got a printer set up, got a file thing. These have filing cabinets like in the drawers. Basically, tons of business is gonna be happening in here. I actually, obviously do do a lot of business stuff. Um, I'm gonna clean that up later. Um, so it's gonna be nice to have a, like an actually dedicated spot. It's actually set up and I have everything in the drawers that I need and I know where everything is, it's gonna be really nice. I did put my big gaming computer over here cause it just fits so well, but it stinks cause that's the clear side right there where you can see all the lights and all the fans and all the cool stuff, but it's okay, it's okay. I got my dual screen set up here for editing, gaming, whatever. Got my little laptop over here. I need to get a rolly spinning round chair. And then what do you think I should do over here? I'm thinking a couch. So like we could have people sitting or maybe like a couple chair or I don't know. I think I think a couch would be cool. A place where I can hang out, where I can sit on the couch with my laptop and do some stuff. I spend a lot of time on a computer running YouTube channels and businesses and junk. So I wanna be comfy when I do it, right? Anyway, let me know. What do y'all think? That's a big little nook over there. Be cool for couches. Also I have my gold play button awards and silver play button awards and all those things from YouTube. And so I might put those up in here. I also just have a bunch of other decorations that I have in my old office that I haven't hung yet because I wanted to get all this stuff up. But like, you gotta admit, like a gold play button would look really good right there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the new office. I'm freaking pumped because we've been waiting on this forever and it's finally here. Thank you guys so much for watching another random episode on Off the Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.